Okay, it's a rainy Saturday morning in Georgia. Um, this is a uh, female great horned owl that was found in some, I, th I guess it was deer woods. I guess they're still hunting deer now. Anyway, it was brought in by a hunter. Um, and you can tell this is an old bird. The beak is very dull. Um, the talons are, dull, are, are you know, dull looking. They're very, very sharp. <laughs> um, and, but she's a hot mess. I know she's kind of favoring her left leg. She's got all she's I, she's got all kinds of stuff going on um, up underneath the feathers. She can't tell by looking at her. I don't know if she's been shot or. You know, with this old bird, she could just be at the end of her cycle, too, and just slowly starving to death. Um, when they're, um, when they're really skinny, you, um, you don't want to give them solid food, because, uh, what happens when they, when they, uh, are emaciated and dehydrated, their digestive en enzymes quit, uh, being, uh, produced, because everything is basically stopping, to concentrate on on running the the heart, you know, the vital organs and stuff like that. So, um, so if you try to just um, offer her solid food, uh, frequently they'll just kill over dead because they don't have the enzymes or basically the energy to process it. So you just kind of kickstart them going with a little bit of water. Or the, actually, this is lactated ringers, so this has electrolytes in it to kind of jump start things and um, and she's actually uh, after biting the snot out of me this morning she just kind of caught me caught me right and sliced me um, I'll keep giving her water which there's no telling when the last time she ate now um, one of the uh, Dr. Brown over at uh, the Gainesville Emergency Clinic he was kind enough to um, uh, cut up a mouse, and so she she did have a little bit on her stomach, but I'm gonna, um, you know, get her get her hydrated again. You can tell her mucous membranes are real are pale. Uh, that could be dehydration. It could be she may have some internal bleeding going on. I did see some blood on her tongue. So uh, anyway, she you know she might have been shot. There's you know. There's no telling. Let's see if she'll take a little bit of this. Now this, um, whoops, this stuff is um, cat food. It's um, by Science Diet. And I mean, I can always just, I could cast her and stick this cannula down her throat um, and just do it the, the easy way, but it's it's stressful to, to hold her down. It's, it's um, I'll just kind of prefer to do it the messy way. Chai, little girl. So this is um, uh, this is feline AD, and it's it's a real smooth. It's kind of a paste, and then you just you can either mix it with water or lact lactated ringers, and you make kind of a pudding out of it, so you can. Um, uh, aspirate it up into a syringe and then um, so you know if you can aspirate it into the syringe as opposed to just pouring it down the the barrel then then you know if you can aspirate it this way then it'll it then it's smooth enough to come out the um, the cannula I my boo -boo. The only thing though it's it's messy it's all right boo boo kitty now, these big females, and, and she, she's a good-sized female, these birds are potentially seriously dangerous. I mean, they will really mess you up if they grab, grab you with their feet. Um, so, but fortunately, she feels poorly enough that um, she doesn't feel like going after me. And I appreciate that. I don't enjoy getting hurt. It's just kind of... Part of what happens sometimes. Oh, I know it. I'm sorry. Here we go. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. I know. Well, I might just 
have to I may just have to do the burrito thing and tube the rest of it. She's getting irritated. That's all right. You just got a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I know it. I jolly. Just a little bit more. See, I'm kind of holding on to, um, her, I don't know what you call this, beard. <laughs> I have no idea. It gives you a little bit of leverage. It's okay. Okay, that's it. You don't want to push your luck with these guys because if she, um, if she, if she clamped onto me, I wouldn't be able to get her off. If she got me with both feet, it would, it would be very bad for me indeed. You can see how she's, um, how she's favoring that left leg. So I don't know if it's fractured or anyway. You can see, you see how it's kind of cocked out a little bit. Now they do rest on one leg, but when I saw her in the cage, she had that leg out like that, so there's some there's some monkey business going on there. Alright, just a little bit of Woody. Okay. There's a good girl. Alright. Okay. Miss Lula. Miss Lula. Okay. That's it from this end of the swamp, and I do mean swamp. It's been raining all day. Alright.